Although I should, it'll be fun. It's the, uh, well, I'm not going to give you the actual official name because I don't want this place to get busier than it already is. So, what should we call it? So, I decided to go for lunch, and lunch normally is a bit of food, but because I have Gavin here with me, he decided he wanted to have a liquid lunch. Now, I really had to fight him not to have the fourth pint, but the three was enough, and I think he's got good enough now as a skin to be able to deal with the challenges that potentially could come with us today. Normally here in Malin Head, it's extremely windy, but we have no wind whatsoever we do have some nice potential for light so hopefully we get the shots i don't know it's all about being out there it's all about luck but let's go over there, that it is it's on the other side of that farm oh you <gasps> yeah it's okay i got you from shoulders up you can keep your wisdom shatter So welcome to Malin Head, an absolutely phenomenal area as you can see here below me. I think we are going to be in for a treat. It is quite moody right now, but we're going to get some shots anyway. We're here for sunset and I think it is really going to kick off. Amanda, what do you think? It's nasty. Nasty is good. <laughs> Now, even though we don't have any epic light just yet, I've set the camera up and I've managed to get a couple of what I think are absolutely beautiful shots. I have put on my um, six stop and I've also put on my three stop, so I'm getting nine stops and I'm getting 30 second exposure. And what that's doing is it's smoothing out all the water, but on the veins of the rocks, you're getting the waves as they come up and then it cascades down below that. Now, Gavin has just sent his drone up here and it is looking stunning when looking on the back of that. Normally, when I'm out with Dermot, I say, and I'll show you some of that footage because Dermot will give me the footage. I don't know if Gavin will do it or not. Maybe it'll cost me a couple of twirls, but we'll see. But yeah, his footage looks insane anyway. Now he's going to get his camera set up to get his shots. I'm happy with what I've gotten so far. Now all we got to do is just wait for the light. Now, a moment ago there, I got some incredible light bouncing off on the distant headlands, and thankfully, I was doing a time lapse as it happened. Hopefully, it turned out. I'll give you a look at it after this. Waiting now for the light, it's dancing across the horizon here. We may get lucky, although there is rain coming as well, so we're about to get grounded. I didn't bring my coat, so yeah, you're going to see a wet Darren after this. Gavin has just gone down below me, uh, down here. Uh, he wants to get a different style of composition here to be able to utilize this main peak. But yeah, phenomenal so far. And we are still nearly three hours away from uh, sunset. So if you can imagine how good it is right now, imagine what it's going to be like if and when we get the light.
time at the moment is 5 p.m. So I am watching my premiere of my video. Anybody who knows this, I go live every Sunday at 5 p.m. And I love being on the chat and talking with everybody about the video. At the moment, I just wanted to show behind me here, there's some incredible light that's just breaking. It may not come up on this camera. I'll take a separate bit of footage so you can see what it is. But if that's what we're uh, in for, and this comes to here, we are in for a treat. So we got some rain that came past us thankfully and it came all the way along from up here and continued over here and thankfully we got none for us. Now I don't want to you know, put a hex on it but it looks like we may have avoided it looking out there at the sea. We're still waiting on the light but in what I was waiting I decided to pop over to here. So this is the spot that Gavin got his first composition from. He said it was his test composition but I think it's a phenomenal composition and if it was good enough for him of course I had to give it a go as well myself. So I've just moved over slightly to the right hand side and I'm utilizing as well in here an extra bit of foreground that you have leading out and then with this stack and now we're just getting a bit of light as well here if I can show you that you'll see it there in the distance. So I don't know we are in for a treat or we're in for mediocre but I think the landscape here more than makes up for it. So I'll give you a look at this shot now next and then we'll continue to wait for hopefully fingers crossed as always for the epic light to come. Now, I don't think we are going to get any crazy light here this evening. The clouds are actually becoming thicker and they're potentially going to get thicker again. There's a mist that's coming in around us. And not only that, but we're also getting midges that are coming in around us. And you know I hate these flying teeth. They are really, really annoying, but they're really bad actually here now today. So I think what we're going to do now is take what we have as a success. The light that we got earlier on with the rays and everything else coming across here, I think will be really, really nice shots. And we're not going to get any great light between now and then so it's time to call it as a success thank you very much as always for watching the channel if it's your first time on the channel i would really appreciate you hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and if you want to watch another episode i recommend this one here and until the next time schlong gefall